Guys, I'm standing here with my man Marcus Philly, six-time games athlete and the creator of functional bodybuilding. The guy is bringing Swole back to the gym, putting it in CrossFit gyms for the first time. Marcus, it's a pleasure because I'm a huge fan of yours. Tell us a little bit back, about your backstory. How'd you get into CrossFit? Um, yeah, I got into CrossFit, you know, I started in um, like the health sciences. So in undergrad, uh, I was a molecular cell biology, you know, major. I love the health sciences and uh, yeah, molecular cell biology is a mouthful, but ultimately it was, pre-medical degree, right? So I was, I was on, on my way to pursuing a, you know, a doctorate in, in Western medicine. What did you want to do? You know, that was, in, it's interesting. I basically wanted to do what I get to do today in health and fitness. Uh, that's truly what was my dream was to create sort of, um, you know, a new paradigm in the medical community where we were, you know, getting people healthy and well and preventing disease rather than just treating symptoms. Anyhow, I got into medical school and spent a year, um, you know, a year in that system. And uh, after a year, and you know, I didn't put in as much time as others, but I, could, I just knew that I, there was another path for me that was out there. And, and I was getting drawn towards the health and fitness community, CrossFit in particular, that was really like something I was passionate about at the time. And I saw, you know, hundreds if not thousands of gyms at the time opening up and having everyday average people with real problems, real sickness, real health issues, swarming to CrossFit gyms to basically do the stuff that I thought nobody ever wanted to do. Nobody just goes and opens up a gym and has success right away. Yeah, no, absolutely not. And, and that wasn't really my thought. I mean, I didn't, have a, I didn't have a plan, but I knew that following my plan to become a doctor wasn't working for me. And so I kind of, honestly, I threw the plan out the window and I was just following like my passion and my intuition, which said, getting inside a fitness facility where I could actually make a difference in someone's life hands-on every day was going to teach me the things I needed to know to ultimately figure out, okay, what's my, what's my career path going to be? And so I dove headfirst into that, um, just literally coaching people, like as a, just a, a CrossFit trainer. And then that evolved over the past 10 years into where I'm at today. And, um, and that evolution really started with one principle, which was, let me connect with you and figure out what you need to get better. And if something comes up and I don't know the answer, I got to go solve it. And I either got to go learn from somebody else or be creative. And that has just been the process that I've gone through. I mean, you're spearheading the whole bodybuilding into CrossFit gyms and like kind of reviving it in a way. I mean, when we talk about it at my gym, we're always like, well, Marcus Philly, Marcus Philly, he's got yeah. functional bodybuilding. What sparked this and like, how'd you get the ball rolling? Like, what do you think the tipping point was? I had a personal experience with dealing with, we'll call it just burnout, injury, and what many people have experienced in doing their high intensity fitness approach, which is, man, I don't feel as good as I thought I was gonna feel. Yeah. You know, it started out, I felt great. And then after a while, I started to feel a little banged up and I was looking for ways to make it better and get back to the old way. and. Um, and, by, and, and, and their solution was to do more, do more, do more, like adding more volume, adding more intensity. Well, we knew the bottom was going to eventually fall out, you know, when people are doing like three and four wads a day and everybody's like, well, Froning does it and this one does it. Totally. It's like, how long do you think most people have? Many people fell into that trap and they actually don't know that the bottom's going to fall out from them. And they haven't actually made the connection between I don't feel energetically great. I don't feel my body doesn't feel as healthy as I thought it would feel and their training. They haven't tied that, like made that connection. I made the connection, you know, certainly with the help of like the people that have supported me from a coaching perspective for years, but it was just, it was so obvious. In 2016, I just finished, you know, a successful competitive season of fitness and I was literally like, to like totally broken. How was I gonna bring back that feeling? And it started basically with like, reducing volume, reducing intensity, working on fundamentals, building up my base level strength, working on, you know, isolation movements to restructure my body. Get back to the basics. Get back to the basics. And so it started to look like more bodybuilding and less dynamic, fast, intensive stuff. I always saw it as like, you're in the gym one day and somebody programs dumbbell snatches and you picked it up and just curled it felt how good it felt and you're like yeah let's roll with this for day it was not that simple and as a matter of fact you know i had a coach at the time who was very you know writing me very very detailed programs and i was following him to a t and you know thanks to his support along the way i was able to like rebuild my body and 
and it felt like, and, and there was a moment where I was in my own training and I was like, you know, this feels like my old bodybuilding days, but it's also not bodybuilding because I'm doing it slightly differently. And so it feels like I'm doing functional bodybuilding, you know? And I like put a hashtag out there and, and that kind of caught fire a little bit. The verdict is out, like it's made a difference for a lot of people. So what's next? I mean, you have a nutrition company, you're working with Ice Age, yeah. and you have functional bodybuilding. What's, what's the next step for Marcus Philly? We're just at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to understanding how to re-educate a population that has maybe gotten pulled too far into one end of the spectrum of like trying to do more, do more, do more, and bring them back to the middle, provide them with tools, and then grow, you know, really grow functional bodybuilding into a into a brand that people can like trust for training knowledge, um, but also training programs and an experience to get into the gym and fix themselves. There are good coaches out there with great intentions who want people to live long and prosper and they are making them do way too much all the time. And they're like, don't know what's going on, you know? And so honestly, we're just trying to fill some of those gaps and in, in their knowledge and understanding and, and the best way to do that the, the best way to learn is through experience, and I've always believed that. So we're giving people experiences through training. They're having profound impacts on their body and on their, on their thought process, and then they're coming back and saying, okay, how do I do this you know, forever? Tell me, teach me. Well, it's awesome. I mean, listen, I love what you're doing. Where could everybody out there find you? Um, find me at Marcus Philly on, social, on Instagram, and then functional.bodybuilding is our other Instagram handle where we got a lot of education material out. And then definitely go to revival-strength.com and join our email list. I put out a really thoughtful article every single week with a training program. Uh, check that out. Yeah, that's free. And, uh, and honestly, it's like a, a place where we're just pouring a lot of our ideas into. And uh, we would love to you know, have more people you know, getting exposed to it. Cool. Well, listen, guys, changing the game. Live long and prosper. Right? Yeah. Thank you, Marcus Philly, guys. One of the best. Thank you, man. Thanks, really man. appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the Fit Aid YouTube channel, now's your chance. Do it right now. Check it out. We got a lot of great content up there from Sarah Sigmund's daughter to stuff at the games to Q&As with some of the best people in the business. Check it out. Grab yourself a Fit Aid and keep smiling.